What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Aramine here. And uh, today, we're back. It's actually the same day. You can tell. I got the same shirt on. Got the same hair. So, I mean, pretty obvious. But right after I did that OU Live, I wanted to go ahead and do a Battle Factory one. A lot of you guys may know the Battle Factory stuff from when I collabed with Joey and, like, came here from that video, which I appreciate it. Uh, make sure you like this video. Oh, shit. You just saw some shit. Y'all just saw some hidden messages. 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 But anyways, we here. Uh, we got UU as our first game, which is actually pretty cool. I'm not too well versed with UU, but it does look like AV uh, Mean Shao will be able to probably tank on that. Well, maybe not really. Maybe the the Kafa Grigus, but I'm just gonna get Will O Wisp. If he gets up a T Spike, maybe I'll go ahead and pair, uh, poison my Mean Shao just because it has Regenerator. It can sort of deal with that. I just I don't want it to get burned. Basically, I don't have a a Heal Bell or anything like that. So a T spike actually isn't the worst thing, especially just since he has that coffee Grigus, which I don't ever really knock out. I'm gonna go ahead and lead Rotom though. Uh, he doesn't have the best switch into this. I can always just click Overheat, but what I'm actually gonna do is click T Wave. If he's knockoff or anything like that, that's fine. He does decide to go coffee Grigus. That's a free Volt switch for me. What I can see him doing here is possibly getting up that T-Spec I was talking about, possibly Trick Rooming, or maybe even dropping his Ghost DMZ. So any of those options, I kind of want to go out into my Altaria, just because it has that natural cure ability. So if he does decide to Wisp on like an off sort of prediction that I'm going to go something like Stack Attacka, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe that's what he do. He does decide to Trick Room, though. Uh, I don't care about this thing too much. I didn't, I'm actually just going to spam Hyper Voice because it's pixelate boosted that did a lot that did a that that did a lot hp fighting too so that was ghostium hp fighting i feel like mean Xiao seems all right because i cannot yeah that's bad but i mean again it's not the worst what shall i do do i just say fuck it stay in and then 32 it's not gonna do 68 U-turn, I wonder if U-turn kills this. I doubt it. I doubt it. But then I can go do Blade and Shadow Sneak. All right, we're going to do it. It's okay. I have Regenerator. I'm not too worried. It does not kill. Holy shit. But we do have Do Blade and we can Shadow Sneak. And then I don't really need my, uh, I don't need No Guard, right? So I'll get his Mummy, but I don't need No Guard. No Guard. I'm not missing any moves. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. So my Mean Shadow should go up to about like 40, 50 ish percent which is not the best HP, but like, it's not the worst. I can see, uh, Rotom hardwalls this, unless he's toxic, which he does not appear to be. He could be, he went for flamethrower instead of fire blast, meaning he could possibly be uh, leftovers. Could also be, no, he's not flying DMZ, we just saw ghost DMZ on the Coffee Grigus. So actually, yeah, it is looking all right. I kind of want to click overheat. I know that that sounds super brazy, but like, I really do. I'm gonna T-Wave again. He does decide to go Needle Queen. I kind of want to drop this. Oh shit, I thought it would die. I thought the Needle Queen died for sure, <laughs> but apparently not. Uh, I'm going to click Overheat again. Who's my Defogger? Or is like, do I have to Rapid Spin with Serena, which is never happening. I think that's, yeah. Oh, my Altari is dead, but yeah, I just have to Rapid Spin with the... That's fine. He gives me two Pokemon, which is clean. So Coffer Grigus and Needle Queen down. He knows my set now, for the most part. But, yeah, he knows my set now for the most part. Uh, he doesn't know I have... What What is my last move? HP Grass, which doesn't matter. He doesn't need to know I have HP Grass because it doesn't do jack shit. But, anyways... Uh, I can Volt Switch out on anybody. I still even kill the Scizor if it comes in. He can't knock me off with this because I'm Z-Move. He can, but you know what I mean? It doesn't do that much. So, I'm actually not going to let him get like a free SD or anything like that. I'm going to go into huh regenerator didn't give me any hp back i feel like i kind of have to go serena and like rapid spin on his fire blast miss that sounds right that sounds about right is rapid spin on his fire blast miss right that sounds that sounds good i think it sounds pretty good i think that's the play Cause yeah, he's not, yeah, he doesn't know what to do. Oh, he gives me it. He lets me do it. Yo, he's going to get up spikes though. Bro. 
You're not play refing. You're never play refing here. I, if he play refs here, he's the hardest motherfucker in the world. So trust me, I know he's not. He foul. Oh boy, I eat those up though. Is he faster though? No, never, never faster. And that's his attacking move too. He can T wave, but like I don't care about T wave. I'm defog too. So if I roost here, oh no, he might be sub. Sub pressure, right? I hard wall this though. You have to like hurricane. He might. I don't know. We'll see what he is. He toxic. That's that's a good play. Flamethrower toxic roost probably sub. Meaning again, he can't really touch my Brodom, but I can't really touch him either because if he flamethrowers here, I'm dead. I'm gonna sack Mean Chow. He goes Klefki, which actually isn't the worst thing in the whole world. Uh, U turn here seems pretty free. I don't know why my regenerator is not activating, but God, like, it's it's just not. Maybe it is, and it's just giving. Oh, it is. It's just giving me such little amounts of HP. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead to C Wave, bro. We take those, and now I can Volt Switch freely into my Altaria and Defog. So I don't. Again, don't not. Okay, bro, bro, <laughs> bro. I don't care about these spikes. I T Waved your Clef Key for free, for free. We take those. We take Clef Keys like that. Give me that. Do I fire blast? I'm gonna go Rotom here. If he's Brazy, he foul like he foul plays. I don't want him to fucking s double spike. I'm gonna go back into Mincha and knock it off. Cause if he foul plays, it doesn't matter. It's not gonna do anything. I don't think it might do a little bit. He also might reflect here. My Altari is getting low. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm playing this a little bit too fast. But anyways, now he's not gonna be getting any more recovery. This Klefki is now. 85% health and that's it gonna go ahead and u-turn out as he goes Moltres trying to get the flame body which is oh it's pressure because I don't even think flame bodies released but that's respectable what he just did there I really want to go stack attacker we're gonna go stack attacker here and honestly edge edge is like my best play he can go scissor if he's probably superpower I'd assume if he does also he can go into his own cleft key again to probably try and get up some more spikes goes keys I'm just gonna go hard Altaria. I can roost and then instantly defog. I think that one of his good plays here would probably be to go hard Scizor. Because regardless of the situation, whether I stay in, whether he there are no hazards on his side of the field, so it's a very risk-free play. Uh if I were to like just say get up my own rocks or gyro ball and he's like a superpower scissor or like anything of the nature. Cause like I assume Moltres is probably gonna be the defogger or Klefki's the defogger, right? So I, I think that those are probably his two options here is, or I think those are like my two options, right? Is either stay in, get up rocks or go Altaria to like stop the spike spam. I'm gonna roost here, seems best. He's getting to the point now where I can actually start fire blasting him, which is pretty nice. He foul plays, good play. I'm gonna fire blast here. Actually, yeah, I'm a fire blast here. That one spike isn't the worst. Oh, okay, we, well, okay. I can deal with one spike. I'll take one spice. Didn't want to. I still want two spikes. The scissor was hard walled by my thing. By my uh What's it called? Oh yeah, but that see that that would work out too. Because like if he doubled into scissor there, as I went Altaria, I'd be forced to go into like one of my counters of Dewblade, right? And if he U-turned, which would also have been a good play, because I can't stay in, because this is my defogger. Like, Bullet Punch scares me out, so he'd U-turn on my Dewblade and then get a free pivot into Moltres. If it's sub, I don't break it's sub. And it just starts to flamethrower me, and then it, like, Altaria has to come in, take Toxic, take a Spike, take Flamethrower, and eventually that probably could have won in the game. I'm gonna be honest with you. Eventually, that would have put him in a better position than he is right now. But, you know, what can you do? This is still pretty good. Maybe not. Maybe this is trash now. This like hard walls the I'm a defog here. Just oh boy, you hate to see that happen. I kind of want to go Serena, but maybe oh Serena probably hard walls that Scizor if he's banded especially. Iron Tail. I'm gonna sack Mean Chow. Mean Chow's trash in this. It dies to everything, right? I fake out though. That's good damage. So yeah, I guess. I guess that's true. Fake out's good damage on the fucking Absol. <laughs> 10. No, I take back what I said about it being good damage. That's trash damage. I was I was mistaken. I, I was entirely just wrong. 
Um, Stone Edge looks like looks. What I just said, Stone Edge looks like it claims a kill. So that's nice. I have to hit though. And what if he's superpower? Iron Tail superpower? Is that a set? I don't think so. I think I want to go Serena and then U turn. If I lose my Serena, then I mean, okay. But I'd, I'd hope I, I, I would hope I don't lose my Serena. I don't know if he knows if I'm Scarf yet. Oh, he said fuck it. Okay, that's fine too. Stack attack is very free. It's the only thing that really stops the Moltres, right? Actually, my Rotom, my Rotom stops the Moltres. Rotom wins because I think he has to go Scizor. He goes Moltres. Do I paralyze this? I think I do. I think this. I, oh shit! I eat that up. And now I bolt switch. Oh no. Oh no. Things aren't looking good for our hero. I think I can go ahead and find another game. I think that's acceptable. Sack this. Go back into it. Bolt switch again. And then I have a fucking do blade to hard beat that fucking scissor. So I mean, I think it's all right. I think I think we I think we managed to clench this shit right now. I think we managed to actually pull this out of somewhere. Somewhere dank. Somewhere dark. Oh, he gives me damage on it too. Craziness. <coughs> Guess who's getting banded high jump kicked? Oh, I'm not banned anymore, but I mean, you get it. I also think this is probably banded. Bro, this thing's dead. Goes Moltres. I just go stack attacker, and I think I just fucking click Stone Edge here. <clears throat> and I think this is, I think that's game. I'm pretty sure this is game. I'm fairly confident this is game. Unless we miss. If we miss, it's not game. <laughs> if we had hit, that would have been game. But now, actually, it's good. Because he can he can flamethrower, hope for a burn. I still kill him with Stone Edge, I'm pretty sure. I Maybe I don't. But I hit him. He's dead. I don't even think... Uh, I was going to say, I don't even think Superpower Scissor kills me. But I'm pretty sure it does. But he can't lock himself in any one move, right? Yeah, no. No GG, though. I don't know why people don't say GG. If you... Hey, from me to you... If you play Pokemon, you better fucking say GG after your games. If it was a good game, that was a good game. I played well, no hacks, very little hacks. If you say, if you don't say GG to your opponent, you, you scum. I said GG. I didn't even say GG because he left. But you get what I'm saying. If you leave before saying GG, I don't care how frustrated you are. What am I doing? Do I leave Venusaur? Maybe. My only issue right now is that Gigalith. That Gigalith looking like a bastard. I'm gonna lead. Fuck. I'm gonna lead Diancy. I feel like he might lead the Vicavolt. Yeah, I see. I'm not faster. I might be faster, but I doubt it. But, I mean, I could be. I'm gonna get rocks up here. No, I'm not. I'm gonna Moonblast here just for damage. He's faster and he specs. So. That's good information that we just learned there. Is that it's it's a very dangerous Vicavolt. It's very, very threatening Vicavolt. But I get off some chip on the on the Gigalith. He's leftovers Giggy. That's fine. Fortress seems alright. I don't think he can really break my fortress, and I have rapid spin to get his rocks off my side of the field. Uh, he can go into his Mandibuzz here, which might be helmet. That's what I assume. I don't know what he actually goes into to really stop my fortress. This to volt switch again? That works. But I also have a oh wait sands up now so I don't I take nothing I actually take nothing from this move because I have sand up now he volt switches yeah that's that's much safer for me to switch in on <clears throat> now that uh, he helped me out boosting my spadef by 1.5 Diancy just became the biggest threat possible <coughs> decides to go out into the for alligator my foul play Porygon I am I am also foul play Mandibuzz but if he's ice punch I might die hmm this is a tough one this is yeah this is a tough one let me think 340 I think Porygon always lives but I also think I need Porygon healthier for the Vicavolt just in case of an emergency so what we're gonna do here oh why am I oh he liquidated raw okay that's fine I want to roost here I won't die to a uh, Oh, he ice punched. Oh, I didn't die though. Bro, that does a lot. That does a lot of damage. He's prob. I feel like he should predict my switch. 
I really do. I really feel like he should predict that shit. I'm gonna go Porygon. He didn't DD. This looks like a free T wave, but I'm actually just gonna foul play. It'll do good damage to everybody, bar the Mandibuzz, but I mean, he should fear T wave to an extent. T gives me some damage off on Gigalith with its, uh, with, uh, uh, which is nice. Gonna go hard Fortress again. This could be another rapid spin. The Vikavolt's getting low, which is nice. I'm gonna spin again. Yeah, I can't afford not to. If he's just Volt switching, which he could do it again. I'm gonna go Venusaur here. I know it's not the best play. Oh my god. But I think that's okay because now I can Sludge Bomb and actually kill the Vikavolt. Okay, worth it. Venusaur, I wish you could have done more, buddy. But I guess he also had a Mandibuzz all along. So, like, either way, my, my Venusaur wasn't going to be doing much. So, I, maybe I actually capitalized on it the perfect amount, honestly. Because I actually managed to kill off the fucking Vikavolt, which killed all, like, every member on my team. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and Giga Drain just in case. Yep, that's fine. I believe P2 is the wave still. Because he can't stay in. He can liquidate, though. Scald, Haze, Refresh. Maybe I can Scald and then Haze. I think that's the play. I think Scald into Haze is probably my play, as he might try and DD up, hoping for no burn. Or he just gives me a burn on Gigalith, which I'm gonna always go Fortress again. Because I have no reason not to now. Because he he let the one Pokemon that killed Fortress die. So I don't, that, that's why I don't... I don't know. I don't consider these plays to be the best the best plays. And I know like that might sound harsh. I know that might sound bad. If he's Heat Wave, fuck you. I'm not letting you do it. I'm gonna go Diancie here. As he tries to taunt me. I mean, he doesn't try. He does taunt me, but... Diamond Storm here. I don't know. This is pretty easy, you know? This is pretty alright. Because my Diancie's out. It's bulky as fuck. I get huge damage off on the Gator. I kind of wish I, uh, you know, I had my, my thing still, but you know, it's fine. All right, you want me? To, you want me to be real? What if he's not DD? Yeah, what if he's not DD? I was gonna be like, he's gonna DD here, but me in that mindset that he's just gonna always DD. Oh wait, hold on, guys. Am I okay? My bad. I thought I wasn't showing the this. I thought it was still like that when it when it needs to be like that. But I was wrong. It's fine. No worries. It's it's better now. But yeah. Uh, I scald here. Always. He crunches. No damage. No defense drop either. And I finally get the burn on it too, which is clean. What do I mean finally? It's the first scald I think I landed on the Pokemon. So, uh, never mind. I didn't finally get the burn. But I managed to get a burn on the fucking Feraligator. So, the Feraligator's dead. It's really interesting that he managed to get Stoutland. Uh, maybe they only give you Stoutland if you have a Sand user. Maybe that's how that works. He might defog here. He also could toxic. I'm gonna go fortress. I doubt he's heat wave. Like it's just not looking like it would be a thing anymore. But I can't afford to. I can't. I can't risk it. I can't let him be heat wave. He taunts. I'm actually getting recovery with my Diancie, which is very good. Uh, just gonna diamond storm here again. He hasn't even seen my other two moves. But diamond storm is always safest. Because I'm actually hitting the Gigalith physically, as opposed to specially, which it has more special defense, maybe because it's uh, in the sand. I'm not too sure about that. But that sounds about right. Uh, Moonblast, Slurpuff. Hold on. Hold on, Slurpuff. I need to I need to look at something real quick. You, I know you're a Pokemon, so I know that you cannot be underestimated. So you're weaker, Spadef. Moonblast is just... Oh, wait. Hold on. How much weaker by Spadef? A lot? Not much. Not much weaker. And he has Citrus Berry. But, do I just lose? No, I gyro ball. I gyro ball the fuck out of it. Because I, oh, 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 he has a drain punch. But, I, no, 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 We're fine. We're fine here. We're fine. We Moonblast here. He belly drums. Does not die, but that's okay. Uh, does not die, but that is 100%. All right. I need to give him Diancie, I'm pretty sure. No, Diancie beats the thing. I cannot give him Diancie. That is, <laughs> I realize that now. Maybe I give him Mandibuzz. I give him Mandibuzz. He can Drain Punch. He play Rust. Does not Drain Punch. No HP has come back to our, our hero. I go Fortress here and I Gyro Ball and I should be the death of the fucking Slurpuff. Please don't kill me. Oh, that did nothing. That did actually no damage at all. 
That was a plus six drain punch to my fortress's dome, literally. Superpower, maybe? I'm gonna Volt Switch returns. Interesting. Interesting play there. And I think that's banded. So I think now I did Diamond Storm again. Maybe it's not, but maybe it is. Oh, it is. Please, no plus two. No plus two at all. Weak. All right, well, that was a good game. Again, no GG, even though it was a good game, but you know, whatever. And I think this might end up being the last uh, Battle Factory game of this of this live. This is a this is this has been a good live. I've been playing good this live, but I do think this might be the last one. Uh, I have some other videos I need to record before I go to work today and possibly stream tonight. We'll see. I actually do need to be a lot more productive in what I've been doing. I know that uh, very important to me at this point in time. But I'm getting emotional just saying that. But uh, yeah, I think we'll be okay. I think that these three games, this is going to be a long game. I can tell you that right now because my team is so fat. I have wish pat. Yeah, my team is fucking fat as shit. How do I kill the, am I Bray Bird? I am Bray Bird. So maybe I just lead this and I did Bray Bird. I also want to spike. Webs. Yeah, I'll Bray Bird and kill this. I don't even care. I really don't. He stuns spores. That's fine. I'm going to Bray Bird again. I don't care. Uh, if he wants webs, he can have webs. Do I have defogger? I do. Rotom. Rotom defogs on everybody too. So, got rid of the Rabombi. It's now 5v. But he has some threats, though. A Belly Drum Azu. A Coon. I can't say that. I can't. I think that's racist if I say those words. Uh, a Sweet. A, a Sweet Coon. A Dragon Dance. Probably Tyranitar. He might Fire Punch, too. But probably Dragon Dance. And then a Drill. SD Drill. He has Pokemon here. Alamola. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Mega Evolves, Dragon Ants? No, just Crunches. Good play. Uh, Scald here is pretty free. I also can knock off. I can also wish, but I don't think I go down. Yeah, I'll take this thing's item. It's actually Z move. So, Earthquake, Poison Jab, Mega Horn are its options. Skarmory is actually very good, but I'm going to go for a Scald here. Don't get a burn. He's going to sub. I'm going to go Skarmory here and actually Whirlwind him out. He Scalds. Good play. But I actually am able to Whirlwind that out. He could Belly Drum here. I'm going to go Rotom as he just liquidates. I'm going to burn this. I'm going to burn something. He could go Suicune again. Hoping to get up like a sub or like a CM possibly. He does. Oh, he goes Sculpey. That's a free ass defog. That's the freest defog I've ever seen, bro. I guess he is like mono setup versus fucking fattest shit. So, I mean, I don't know how how much I can really blame this guy for being in the predicament he's in. But, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he's banded Azu. No, Liquidate didn't do shit. Liquidate did fucking 20. That has to be fucking Billy Drum Azu. And he knows I'm eye popping too because I'm not getting leftovers recovery. None. I'm like out. Holy shit. I need to go to the store today. After work. Get some more. Maybe bad weed. Maybe I'll get bad weed. It hurts sometimes. But, you know, gotta do it. Gotta do it. Sometimes get bad weed. You know, ain't got, ain't got money. Hey, if you guys want to give me some money. If you guys want to give me some money, please give me some money for good weed. Please. I'm begging you. Alright, we Volt Switch here. He protected. That's fine. I Volt Switch anyways. Uh, Yeah, I always Volt Switch. He should be pretty fast. Alright, what do we do? Now, I tell you what. I believe a banded bolt strike blows this thing out of the water. Right? That's what I think. I don't care. I'll force your dumb ass out. I want you to know you're getting out of here one way or another. <laughs> I'm going to go Rotom Wash. Yeah. Because I honestly just wisp this. Oh, he's Mold Breaker. Well... I honestly didn't even care to read it broke the mold. I didn't even give a fuck. Uh, Allo knockoff is actually pretty good. Because if he goes Azu, that's good. But he can't, like, he'll risk a burn. Goes Titar, that's a good play. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to I'm gonna Scald here. Hope for a burn. Goes Coon. I'm a wish. Uh, fuck. 
but he's okay so sub scald protect he gets up a sub here right one way or another i'm gonna go muck yeah as he subs i can knock off no burn luckily i'm gonna pursue this actually i kind of want to knock off again i'll jab here i'll pursue it now hopefully i get a burn or like a, a burn yeah i hope my i hope my pursuit burns the fuck out of the suicune Bur poison yes okay good that's a very good play. I mean, <laughs> that's a very good play. That's a very good turn that just happened. And now I'm kind of feeling like he's going to SD. But I think Alamola is still fine. I think it's still very safe. Decides to Iron Head in case I went Skarm, which is smart. I'm going to go ahead and Wish here. He goes T-Tar. Skarm is free. He can crunch and shit, but I don't think Skarm's going down to the... Oh, I died to a Fire Punch, though. That's not my died who is a Fire Punch interesting interesting uh jirachi u-turn seems all right because he should fear iron head he didn't though he crunched oh he got it too 34 that does a lot i'm leftovers sand i feel like i go muck just to eat up the crunch and get into like a better position i'm gonna rock slide here hope for a flinch nope never mind banded victini is not enough yet unfortunately i'm actually gonna go this and just start scalding i think that is my play because suicune can't it can't sub it can't do anything like that right he can only hope for a scald burn on me and he didn't get it so now his best play is probably to go azu yeah and z move I'm, I, I need a burn. I don't get the burn, unfortunately, but that might be game. That just could be game, bro. <laughs> That's game. Oh, no. Okay, well, we've lost to the Azu. I knew we would. I knew we'd lose to the Azu Maru, but I think it was still a good game. GG, fam. So, we'll take this like men, and thank you all for... You know, sticking around until the end. Only three games, but they were they were sort of longer games, so it makes sense. They weren't very fast games. We had some bulkier teams like this one, uh, where we sort of had to like wish pass and play around and do all that type of shit, right? I feel like I could have played this a little bit better, like if I uh, bolt striked. You know, I don't know. I feel like I just could have played it a little bit better. Uh, the Suicune and I did handle pretty well, just with that pursuit play poisoning it, but sacking my my scarm and doing all that type of shit just too urgently trying to get off that wish uh yeah it just wasn't just wasn't cutting it also if i burned the azu that would have been great but i should have went for scald more times on it like in times that like i tried to make doubles i should have forced it in more to yeah i don't know i should have played this a little bit better but yeah thank you all uh make sure you follow me on twitter make sure you follow me on twitch that's where i'll be live streaming uh if you want more fa uh the face cam that's where that'll be if you have any teams you'd like to submit, go ahead, pass them my way. If you have any suggestions for content you'd like me to make, go ahead, throw it my way. If you'd like to collaborate with me, go ahead, come my way. Oh, come away. And I'll be here until ne next next time. All right, everybody. That hand got to go down. Hit the, hit, the, hit the buy button. Bye, everybody. Hold on. Bye, everybody. <laughs>